What's the best way to brighten a cloudy day in the backyard? Just add sugar water. Presto, your yard is abuzz with hummingbirds. Too bad that most of these magical little sprites desert the North Country in late summer. Sadly, we close up the hummingbird shop about the time the kids head back to school. But wait, could we be jumping the gun? That's what Leslie Krauss wants to know. She writes, I was told to take my hummingbird feeder down on Labor Day. I still have hummingbirds at my feeder. When should I take it down? Now, I should point out that Leslie sent me this letter on September 18th. But, Leslie, even taking your hummingbird feeder down today could be too early. Here's what my go to bird authorities had to say. Ornithologist and birding tour operator Bob Shutsky likes to keep his feeders up until the end of the year. And up in Schoolkill County, ornithologist author Scott Widensall leaves at least one feeder up until Christmas. And here's one of the big little reasons the Rufus hummingbird. Most of the hummers that visit our feeders are ruby throated hummingbirds. But every now and then, late in the year, a Rufus or even an Allen's hummingbird might stop by. Rufus hummingbirds breed in the Northwest, from Oregon to Alaska, but sightings in the East during the migration have become more common, and Rufus hummingbirds are extremely cold tolerant. So, Leslie, don't be too quick to close up shop. When temperatures dip below freezing, a 150 watt flood lamp about a foot from the feeder will keep the food flowing. And a wayward Rufus Hummer will be mighty pleased to find your sugar shack is still open. I'm Jack Hubley, News 8. And check this out. Jack says a hummingbird's normal body temperature is 108 degrees. But it drops into the 50s at night as the bird tries to save energy. If you've got a wildlife question for Jack, you can email it to newsaid at wgal.com and you may.